need to ask ourselves the question What about me? What about me? We need to ask the question <laughs> We need to ask the question What about me? What about me? <laughs> we need to ask a question. What about me? <laughs> This question has been buried by life. When I say, what about me? Um, it's the, the me, the innocent me that was suppressed and stuffed and put in the corner and silenced. And all the expectations of everyone else were loaded upon the me to the point of where we don't know our me uh, today. It's all about everyone else. It's about God. It's about Jesus. It's about our parents. It's about our teacher. It's about our government. The question is never what about me? Who am I? Who am I? I want, I want to know who I am and what I want and what I would decide and what I would choose. So it's very important to ask the question, what about me? What about me? I need to know about me. Ask the question, what about me? Give yourself the permission for this quote-unquote selfishness. It's time. It's time that you find me, that you find your you. It's time. Don't waste any more time and making it all about others. It's time to say, what about me? What about me? I want to know me. A friend of mine was uh, kind of uh, critiquing a video I made about um, where I was doing that singing with uh, What About Me? And uh, how that came across as uh, very egotistical, egoic, and uh, yeah, in a sense, that is true. Um, that's the, uh, the pathway through awareness pathway to self-awareness. We have to feel into every aspect of ourself, the egoic, um, and connect to the energy and the sensations and the, the feelings that are attached to our thoughts. So, 
that video, um, where I'm singing, what about me? What about me? Well, that was me uh, feeling out my egoic self. And this is very much uh, necessary to finding, uh, to knowing one's uh, transcendent state. So it's part of the journey of coming into uh, self-awareness, of the higher self-awareness. So before I could come into higher self-awareness, I had to go through the stages of feeling out my egoic lower self and even give that acknowledgement. Because if it stays stuffed down and unobserved, we have nothing to compare with. And uh, it's hard to know your higher self without intimately knowing your lower self, the me that wants to be acknowledged. So that was part of that acknowledgement. And now I have a marker where I can discern or distinguish from which energy I am uh, responding. I, I have a clear um, awareness of my egoic mind now, but it first required to uh, detach from all the demands of the world on my ego. And then through that, once I um, uh, distinct, once I realized and drew the distinction between that, that everybody else's will was not important, that I had to find first self-importance and sort through that. And then I had the egoic desire for self-importance to um, compare with my higher transcendent mind. So take those things as part of the journey. That's It's a progression. Coming into awareness is a progression and we have to go through all of these steps if we skip our ego in denial and suppression, we'll never know what to compare with. You have to know yourself. You have to know your ego, what causes you to be an ego. And then you will know what your state of awareness, of consciousness looks like. So, yeah, it was part of my journey of maturation. And uh, each day things become more clear. So now it's not anymore what about me that me no longer has importance but it needed to be acknowledged to be brought out of the shadow to look at so that was a little commentary on that i'm uh, out here cleaning the cabin today washing windows sweeping floors it's going to be a party this weekend so i love being in here out here it gives me great uh, atmosphere co for contemplation so i'm going back to washing windows <laughs>